Guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about college girls. Um, <laughs> uh, for some reason, whenever I put the words only and then right behind it, I put the words fans. Uh, YouTube's algorithm yoinks it and it marks my videos 18 plus and they demonetize them and all the other things. So I'm going to be av avoiding those words. Uh, I'll be using OF which many of you guys obviously know what that means, OF. Um, so <laughs> that way I, I can at least do this story without uh, YouTube nuking it. And of course, as always, if you want to see full unedited and unclipped stuff, that will be over on betterbachelor.locals.com and on Rumble. Uh, so today I want to talk about uh, how colleges promote this stuff. Um, I did a search for OF and uh, these two young gals popped up, I think, I think they're from the Philippines. I don't know, um, but I think they're very popular over there. So if some of you recognize them, I don't. I don't buy into this stuff. I just do searches on the web, find a picture that I know you, you gentlemen will enjoy glancing at, and uh, I use that as my thumbnails. But um, apparently, this has been been running around the web here recently, and the audio is very hard to hear because it's in a college background, and it looks like they're. I don't know. They're promoting different things. Um, so I'm going to play it and then I'm going to pause it. So I'll repeat what this guy says a little bit because you may have a hard time hearing it. And I don't want to crank it up so loud that the background noise blows your ears out. But we have a gentleman here who's wearing uh, AirPods and a nice watch. And he is promoting OF at either a an, a job drive or a college campus. And the reason why I think this is a comp college campus over his shoulder, it says something like FIU, which usually is something, something university. Uh, I'll play it and then we'll talk about it. But apparently this is fine. You know, insert the meme of the dog sitting in the middle of the room with everything on fire. This is fine. No problems. Let's talk to uh, impressionable young uh, college women that are 18, 19, just getting out in the world, just getting out on their own in many cases. Hey, let's try to get them into the spicy industry. So I'll play this and then we'll talk about it. It, so at the bottom, it says uh, the OFS, meaning shizzle, uh, is getting out of hand. They got these MFs recruiting at, and it says more down at the bottom. And uh, the sign behind him says financial freedom starts here. Now, I don't know if I can tell what, but it says something Graham Center, FIU Graham Center. I think that's what that sign says up above him. And uh, they're promoting this work. So he says, uh, what if I tell you, you ladies, you could say F school and, and start your financial freedom today and be your own boss. I mean, technically he's not wrong. Um, and I would say that spending $150,000 to get an underwater basket weaving slash gender studies um, uh, degree is not going to take you very far in life. Uh, but again... And he says, uh, we don't want you to be a spicy star, star. We just want you to have an open mind. And this girl says, no, I don't think my dad would like that. And he says, I bet your daddy would like a brand new 2022 Chevy Silverado sitting in his driveway. So, and then this is the screen, I guess. This was on Instagram. And as they were floating through, that, that fine gentleman's video was next. So, um, you know, I don't have a problem with, with women deciding to lead their own lives and things. But when... When, when we're at the point now where, I mean, this is an education center, it's college. And when it's okay to promote the spicy industry at a college and telling women that, oh, you know, you'll, you'll make money, you'll be your own boss. Well, this stuff does go online forever. And I have a, an article that was from uh, March of, of last year. So just, just within the, about a year ago now, Ohio State University hosts a seminar promoting OF and the spicy platform to students. So they're bringing this in as a viable as a viable job opportunity for women. And, and again, my problem with this, well, maybe problem's the wrong word. My issue with this is this just goes to show you 
that women are, especially young women, are being told your financial freedom, your ability to earn tons of money, your ability to become rich is based off your looks, based off your uh, being morally, uh, morally questionable on camera, uploading it so people will pay for it and watch you and you will belong to the internet forever. And if you don't believe me, I really doubt, I really doubt these two girls, I mean, they're all over the web. You know, it doesn't take long for someone to take a screenshot and upload it or, or yoink the video. And I know it's easy to do because I grab videos all day long for my videos here. And, and this is being promoted as empowering and wonderful for women. And that's why I say, guys, right now, it is a great time uh, for this movement because supposedly this is making women's lives better. And in reality, it makes guys' lives better. These women are, are, are obviously easier to date, easier to bed. Uh, they don't hold out for a good guy. They just put themselves out there. A student group at the Ohio State University held a seminar last month uh, appearing to promote the uh, spicy industry and OF as part of its annual sex week. And I talked about this in another video, but I, I'm reading this behind the video that you just saw because that's my, you know, a couple people were saying, oh, this has to be a stunt or something. But here's, here's an article stating that the college put this forward. This isn't even a promoter showing up to a job fair type or a, a class sign up. This is the college pushing it. This is the college telling these women, hey, you know what? Let Get into this industry, empowering and strong. And when more and more guys like myself and others are like, what is going on in the dating atmosphere? This is it. This right here is it. There, you know, people that are traditionally conservative or, or tradish, uh, what they call trad cons, you're done, man. You're to try to find a woman that doesn't fall into this or doesn't at least think about this as an option in the back of her head. I mean, if she shows up to college, maybe you can find a blue, a blue collar working class gal that doesn't fall into this. But I did a video on one that was a girl that she was a mechanic at a Honda shop and they found out that she was doing this work and they fired her and she was very upset about it. The, the internet is forever, which is why because of my videos, I'll probably if someone recognizes me, I'll, I'll never have a network engineering job again. <laughs> so let's hope, let's hope my career here goes well. A student group at the Ohio State University held a seminar last month appearing to promote OF as part of its uh, uh, week. Uh, OF is a platform where people sell spicy photos and videos of themselves as well as um, uh, spicy live streams. Starting an OF, join us for a panel with OF content creators to discuss their experiences and destigmatizing digital uh, spicy work. Read the group's registration page. And this says right here, um, it's Sex Week at Ohio State. I'll open that in a new tab. Um, and this is from, let's see, Student Advocates for uh, Sasha, which is uh, Sexual Health Awareness at Ohio State University for inquiries. They have this at Gmail. So maybe this isn't a, maybe this isn't an official college page, but, uh, you know, if Ohio State was really bothered by this, this page would have been contacted by the college and they would have said, hey, you cannot tie this to the college. You can't use our name in it. One hour panel took place on February. It was hosted by student advocates. Group status is marked as pending on the university website, although the organization has appeared active on campus. It's unclear whether the funding comes from the public school that receives federal tax dollars. Last year, the Ohio State University ranked, raked in $43 million in emergency bug aid passed by Congress. According to Sasha's page on the school website, members are not charged dues. So, I'm, and I'm not gonna like hammer down through the whole article, there's not too much left. But you get the idea here. You get the idea. And, and this is why I think, again, not only is this screwing up women, not only is it, is it making dating for the, the guys that are very successful, not only are they having an easier time betting women, but the rest of the, the 80 or 90% of guys are like, I'm not even giving a shot, man. Because what happens again is these women maybe start an OF page, maybe they have an Instagram, they put up a couple of spicy photos, they get a lot of thirsty guys, and they think that they're somehow a superstar. And I have a couple of overlays here. Every once in a while, I grab these. These are called Tinder Insights, where you can download or plug in your Tinder 
uh, information into Tinder Insights. And based on your conversations and the swipes and how long you chatted with somebody, and I guess it can even scan texts for times that you meet and words that you use to determine if you actually had a hookup. That's my understanding of it. Again, I haven't been on Tinder in forever. But I, I want to read through this. This is a 32-year-old guy. He's been on Tinder 188 days. So he's been there six months. 32 guy. Uh, he swiped 10,000 times, which is actually quite a low number. Uh, if you've seen some of these others, there are people that have swiped a quarter of a million times. He right swiped out of 10,000 times. He right swiped 386. That means he's being selective. He's probably reading profiles. He's probably vetting for red flags. He's probably making sure these girls are somebody he would actually like to go on a date with because uh, swiping right three, 386 times out of 10,000, what's that, a 1% swipe rate? Or excuse me, a 3%, is that right? No, out of 1,000, that'd be, yeah, out of 30. Yeah, okay, so it's 3.8% of the time he says yes. It's a very low number. The number he matched out of those 386 is 19 now he's, again, he's being very picky here, which is, I'm fine with. Like if you're gonna actually try to date with a purpose, he's being picky. Out of 386 right swipes, he got 19 matches. He chatted nine times. So that's nine out of the 386 that he said yes to. That's what, 3%, 4% of his choices he chatted with. Zero dates, zero relationships, zero hookups, zero matches. So it never went anywhere. He's been on there for, for six months. Now let's look at a guy that's, that probably is better looking. He's younger and he swipes right on everything. He does the, the, um, uh, the swipe on everything, hope there's a match. This guy's 24. He's been on there for three years, 316 days. So he's basically been on there since he was 20 years old. He's swiped right 100, or excuse me, he swiped 120,000 times. He swiped right 100,000 times. So basically he's saying yes to like 90% of the photos he comes across. And, and, and what I imagine he's doing is he's going, yep, 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 yeah, ooh, no, 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 no. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why? he's doing the why not method, right? He got about uh, 9,000 matches. So about a 10% match rate. He's chatted 6,650 times. He chatted with the person that matched on him. That's why I think he's probably uh, uh, younger and good looking because he's getting a lot of responses. He's had 117 dates, 11 relationships in three years. <laughs> so obviously these are pretty short affairs. He's hooked up 86 times. Though, now, believe it or not, that's, that's pretty impressive nowadays. But, let, but let's, let's back this out. All right, at 24, he's been on there for four years. And if he had 11 relationships and hooked up 86 times, we'll call that to round it out, that's 97, we'll round it to 100. So over the course of four years, that's 25 hookups and relationship somethings over four years. He had to swipe 120,000 times to make that happen. And he swiped on 100,000 of them, only turning down 17,000. That is a lot of work. 6,650 chats texting with people. And, and after doing that, he's still only got 117 interactions with somebody. You're down now below 1%. But you can say, well, he, he did hook up like 100 times. Yeah, probably because he's, he's a successful Chad looking guy. And, and what do you get out of this? Well, you can get chats like this from a gal named Simone. She says, hey, he said, hey, what's up? She said, I'm in the mental health ward. I'm allowed visitors. Ever. No, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted this one. Let me get my other one. My, my Leslie. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. That's the one I wanted. <laughs> so uh, how many times do you say, I'm, I'm going to swipe on this. I'm going to hook up with this. I'm going to go for it. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time, fellas. But um, again, as, as, you, as this prolifer proliferates through the dating society, and I'm not saying that all women take advantage of this, but I think that uh, they said that there are now 85 million new users on OnlyFans uh, in the last year. And uh, two, one, two, three million something are new content creators. 
I mean, that when you start looking at the dating ages between 18 and 24, 26, whatever, that is a large subset of women. The, the, again, so if, if you're struggling, if you're tr trying to find just your normal average everyday girl and you find it a struggle or she doesn't even want to talk to you, yeah, it's just another reason why that, again, I say this all the time, uh, women are their own worst enemies and they're just turning themselves into commodities. All right. For those of you on uh, Locals and uh, Rumble, we're going to do a dating profile of the, way if you, of, of the day. If you're here on YouTube, join me over on the other channels so you can see all the rest of the fun content because Big Mama YouTube doesn't let me have any fun over here anymore. Mm -hmm.